All right, guys, I want to thank you for coming back for another video. Uh, today, we're going to do a different kind of video. Um, as you can see, we have my bathroom in the background. Please excuse the mess if you see anything that is unsavory in the background. Um, I like to think we keep our house pretty clean, but you may see uh, you know, something that, that you may not like, and you know, so be it. It is a bathroom. But today, we're going to do a little bit different kind of review. As you guys can tell, I am a head shaver. Um, I started shaving my head a number of years ago, um, mainly because I would always do a, a short haircut on the sides. I would do like a high and tight, almost real tight fade and keep it a little bit longer up top. I started noticing, uh, after going to the barber, I was getting a lot of bumps on the back of my head, uh, which I believe ended up being folliculitis or something to that extent. Uh, the, these bumps would really hurt me, and as the barber was going through with the clippers, he'd end up cutting them or hitting them more and causing more irritation. Um, and I started noticing as well, once my hair started growing in on the back, um, it started causing more irritation. So my solution to that was to start shaving my head. Once I started shaving my head, um, right now it is pretty long. Once I started shaving my head, um, basically to the skin and was doing it regularly, I started noticing these bumps or folliculitis getting better. Um, throughout the years, I've gotten a little lazy. Um, I haven't been following the same routine, doing it as often as I once did when it was new and exciting. Um, and as stress levels go up, I start noticing the back of my head breaks out a lot. With that, um, I shave with a double edge safety razor. With doing that, when you have bumps or imperfections on your head, um, you're gonna cut your head. So I'm always cutting something, always irritating my head and uh, changing up things in my styles for my shave, trying to fix the problem. Um, I have tried hot towels. The problem is with a hot towel, um, basically when I uh, uh, wet the towel, I was throwing it in the microwave for a minute and a half, something like that, throwing it on my head and draping it over and just basically hanging down like this with the towel hanging off my head. Problem with that is I was never really comfortable. I never held the heat in. Um, it helped a little bit with the shave to loosen up the hairs and, and moisten the scalp, which is great. You want that for a nice, clean, worry-free, comfortable shave. The problem is, is that a towel never really cut it. Um, so I said, hey, it would probably be a great idea if somebody made some kind of beanie or something shaped to your head that would do something similar. It would hold in the moisture, hold in hot water, you know, moisten your scalp to get a better shave, but you can keep it on your head for a little bit and not have to basically hang like this with the towel hanging over the back of your head. That's ridiculous. So I was shopping on Amazon the other day. I forget what I was looking for. Um, probably some shaving products. And I happened to see a product, and this looks like a new product, um, that I got really excited about, so I had to order it. Let's go ahead and show you what this is. So, what this is called is the Shave Beanie. It is a pre-shave, it's labeled as a pre-shave hot head shaving irritations. Basically, what this is, is this is a, I don't know if it's microfiber, I haven't opened it up yet. But basically, this is a beanie that is form fit to your head that you can wear either in the shower and let that hot water soak in your head. It's supposed to retain more moisture, more heat, soak in your head to allow for that better shave. Um, and again, this should be a lot better than uh, holding a towel on your head. So let's go ahead and unbox this, check this out, and I'm actually getting ready to take a shower to try this out because I am excited to try this out and uh, see how this works out and see if it was worth it. All right, so let's go ahead and unbag this. Um, this was from Amazon. This was $19.99 shipped. And the material feels, um, I don't know if that's a microfiber, it's more like a fleece lined inside and uh, to me just looks like sweatpant material. So I'm gonna assume that these were, uh, you know, somehow formed out of the, the material of sweatpants and um, it has an elastic band to form fit to your head for all sizes of heads, they say, and then stitching to, um, again, form to the head. You have your logo up front. 
And I believe you probably want to wash this first. I probably should wash this first before I do it because I may get some, uh, not lint, but uh, some of the black fabric on my head. But YOLO, that's a chance I'm willing to take because I got to shave right now and I am excited to try this out. Okay, so the company that makes this is Proper Male Products for Men. Um, they basically give you the spiel about what it's for and it gives you some instructions on if you were a sink shaver or a shower shaver and it says to pre-wash uh, in cold water to remove the lint. Um, again, um, we're going to do this without doing that. I know I'm going to get some lint on my head, but again, I got to shave now and I want to try it out because my head is a little irritated and broken out. So basically, if you're a sink shaver, soak in hot water, wring it out and wear it for one minute before head shaving or microwave it, which is what I was doing before, for 10 seconds and wear it for a minute before shaving. Um, what I was doing before, and I was scorching my head, but it felt great. I was actually microwaving a towel and the towel I was using is actually right here. Um, I was wetting and microwaving that towel for like a minute and a half and laying it on the back of my head um, and it would only stay hot for you know 30 seconds or so so it was not enough um so basically i'm going to be trying this in the shower it says soak in hot water and shower wear for two to three minutes while showering before head shaving that's what we're going to try out so basically with this towel before i was wetting it and like i said i would drape it i'll show you guys in the mirror i was draping it over my head like this and then i was just putting my head down and just kind of letting it hang over and uh I don't feel like that did a very good job. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on my head. Uh, we're gonna try and do this. We're gonna put down the camera for a second. We'll see if we can aim it up at the mirror a little bit and uh, see how this fits on the head. So go ahead and slide it over your head. You want this to cover all the areas that your hair will be and pull that down. So I have a very small head. Uh, my head is about six and three quarters, six and seven eighth fitted hat. So I have a very small head. Um, this does fit pretty snug up top, feels nice. A uh, little bit of slack right there in the front. Go ahead and switch up to that view. There's a little bit of slack there in the front and around the back, if you guys can see. A um, little bit of bunch up right there, um, but overall it feels like it pulls down pretty well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try it out. I'm going to do my first shave with it and uh, we'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, so far it feels pretty comfortable. It feels like a nice good fit. Um, so I'll give an A plus to that. Let's try it out and we'll give you guys some feedback. We'll be back in a few. All right, so we're back out of the shower. I got dried up. I left the cap on. Uh, the cap held in place great in the shower. Um, I don't have any qualms with uh, uh, how it held in water. It held in water great. Held in the heat as good as it's gonna hold in heat. Um, it's still a little bit warm to the touch. Um, I've been out of the shower for a few minutes now. Um, I already started uh, soaking my brush a little bit in some hot water with my scuttle. Uh, got my blade and this one is actually my first DE razor. This is my Edwin Jagger. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and shave with that today just because this is a little bit better for sensitive, uh, when, when my skin is sensitive compared to some of my other razors. Um, it has a Lord Platinum blade in it, which um, I used to really like these blades. I'm not overly fond with them anymore, but um, we're going to go ahead and try this out. I'm going to run it like that for now. And if you guys can see, I got some water dripping down in my front of my face. That's the only annoyance I had with this is with it trapping water. While you're taking a shower, you just have water pouring down your face from this elastic band. Um, so hopefully we're going to get a good shave. Again, the back of my head is pretty raw and beat up from the last shave a couple days ago. Um, but I do think that this should be a pretty good test, seeming how everything is already raw. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the brush cleaned up. We're going to go ahead and right now I'm going to be using Taylor of Old Bond Street, um, the Platinum Collection. Um, I do like this stuff pretty much. Um, I've been using uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street for a while. Um, I've been pretty happy with it. It's easy to lather, um, so I keep on using it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get everything lathered up. We'll get shaved. I'm not going to show you guys the shaving process because it's going to be a pain in the ass to uh, hold the camera while I'm shaving without cutting myself. All right, so I got the first shave done. As you guys can see, a nice and clean cut. Got a nice, smooth shave. Got an after bomb on. Um, everything went great. I think that... The um, shave beanie did a great job at what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to moisturize your head. It's supposed to moisturize the hair or the follicles, bring the hair up. 
and allow you to go through that nice and smooth and get a nice, comfortable, smooth shave. I will say it was fantastic for that. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, I did get a nice bleeder on the back of my head. Again, my head is very inflamed right now from my last shave. Um, so I did have a pretty big bump back here. I'll see if I can get it on camera, but I had a pretty big bump back here. And again, I have some of that folliculitis on the back of my neck that is inflamed right now. So I really had to go soft over that. But right here with my hair, um, as well as, you know, all the way around that, that crest uh, of my head. I don't know if that's the crest. I call it the crest. The crest of my head. My hair is very thick, very coarse. Up here, I can still grow hair. It is a little bit thinner, as you guys saw from before I shaved. It was obviously darker there than what it is up here. I can still grow hair up here, but it is much thicker on the sides. So the sides and the back, I really got to beat at that against the grain, especially right up here. I got those real hard, coarse spots up there where I really have to beat up on those, and that's where I cut myself and I have a hard time. With wearing that beanie, that did significantly make it better. It cut through that just like butter. So my first uh, first pass I did with the grain, it was just literally chewing right through that. And that is my most sensitive shaver um, that I have. So it, it chewed right through that. It wasn't making any noise, any grittiness. It was just literally right through butter, chewing right through that. Um, but again, I did get that bleeder. So let's see if, let me see how I want to do this. Uh, I don't know how. All right, let's see if you can see any of the spots on my head from the mirror. I don't know how much of this you're going to see. Right there I have a spot, that is where I cut it. Again, I had a lump there, it was a pimple, pustule, whatever. But I hit that, that was a bleeder. Down in here is the main area that I get that gets chewed up. This does not really feel it. I mean, it's inflamed right now from the prior shave, but it does not feel um, very bad right now. It doesn't hurt. It's not really inflamed like it would normally be after a shave. Now, what it looks like, I'm going to find out in, in editing, see what the back of my head really looks like. But usually, I can tell after a shave. That's all bloody, beat up, inflamed. It burns. It's just really irritated and I'm not feeling that right now. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, um, <clears throat> again, with me not pre-washing this, I thought I was going to get a lot of black fuzzies on my head. I did run it underwater first and kind of ran the inside underwater, wringed it out good. I did not get any black fuzzies on my head. I'm cool with that. One concern I'm going to have with this, though, with doing with the towel, that thing would stay wet for days. You know, I'd hang it up on the back of you know, uh, my tub faucet there and it would eventually dry out. With this, this is a sweat pant material. I did have some concern that if this is going to dry or if this is going to stay wet all the time. I don't know if you guys are lazy like me. I don't know if I'm going to call it lazy, but I'm not trying to blow dry this after every use. If you're shaving every two days, you're not trying to blow dry this. You're just trying to get it done. Um, if you just let it hang over the, you know, the faucet, I don't know if that's going to dry. So I'm going to let this hang until the next time that I shave and see what it does. The problem I have with that is I'm worried about bacteria building up. With that towel right there, if you let that hang dry, it smells musty, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So it'll be stinky, musty. I never really like that. So I'm kind of hoping with the type of material that this is, that this isn't gonna hold the odor and it's gonna dry quicker and avoid those problems. Because again, I'm sure bacteria is probably going to exacerbate that problem that I have on the back of my head. So I have high hopes this is going to do what I needed to do to fix that main problem. Um, but for just the fact of being able to soak my head, get a comfortable shave, um, guys, I'm going to be honest, I have not had a smooth shave in a long time. So this did the trick for me. I'm phenomenal with the results of this so far. The bumps go down on the back of my head. Um, once that clears up and gets a little bit better, I think I'm gonna enjoy this more because then I don't have to go so soft on the shave. Um, but again, so far I am happy uh, with not doing a very aggressive shave. It is nice and smooth. Um, it has not been this smooth in a while. Um, so again, for $20, um, I highly advise checking this out. If you guys don't like doing the wet towel thing like I did, 
definitely check this out. Um, it's on Amazon. I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the description. 20 bucks, try it out. I don't think you'll have anything to lose with this one. Um, before you guys say anything um, and notice any of the bruises on the back of my neck and on my trap area, it is not because I have some kind of crazy infectious disease, even though I'm talking about folliculitis. Those bruises that you see on the back of my neck and my traps, if you saw them when I was showing the back of my head, is actually because my wife did cupping on me the other night. My wife is a massage therapist. She started practicing cupping and I completely forgot that I had some of the suction cup marks on my back from that treatment. So please do not let that deter you from the video thinking I have some kind of crazy disease or AIDS or God knows whatever else the internet will come up with. That is not the case. I'm not sick. They're just suction cup marks from that treatment. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I will do a follow-up video if you guys are interested. If um, I am still happy with this after doing multiple shaves with it. So far, I have no reason to believe why I would not be happy with it. Um, it did the main thing that I wanted to do. It made a nice, comfortable shave. It loosened up the hairs. It moisturized my scalp. That is the most important part. If it helps with the folliculitis and it helps with the breakouts on the back of my head, that is a further bonus. Um, as that starts going down and less irritation, I don't know if this is gonna fully cure that, but it should help it significantly because again, as you're going against the grain, going against those hair follicles, things are getting inflamed. You gotta keep on ripping, ripping, ripping at it to get that real coarse, hard stuff off there. That's what causes the infl inflammation and uh, basically makes my life miserable. So. Um, I will do a follow-up if you guys are interested. If we start getting a lot of comments, you guys got questions, I will do a follow-up video and let you know if I'm still happy with it. Again, I have no reason to believe I would not be. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about this, what your feedback is. If you've tried this already and you're happy with it, you're not happy with it, um, please let me know so the other viewers know. Um, I try to do some YouTube reviews on this. There's not a ton of information I'm out there on it. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and the review. Hopefully it helps you to determine if you want to make the decision to purchase one of these or not. Um, I highly suggest that you do for 20 bucks. There's not much to lose. I spent a lot more money on a lot of other products that I've not fulfilled um what they were supposed to so so far i can say this has um check it out guys i highly suggest it so far and uh again let me know in the comments what you think thank you for watching the video and i'll look forward to your feedback